Oh, and I didn't get to talk to you about uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, Sean Porter. They were on your ass about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I was I was okay on the okay for ten rounds. Right. Yeah. I was okay for ten rounds. I turned around and I was like, "Yo, coach is about to be right again." I was okay and, for uh, ten rounds. <laughs> and 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 I think at the end of the, the day, the brilliant counter punching by Bud Crawford, brilliant. But at the end of the day, his counter punching made uh, Porter question himself question himself and he stayed out of range too long instead of going to war mm. so uh, it was a I mean Crawford was brilliant I can't say anything wrong against Crawford yeah, sure. he was brilliant that night did you because Sean Porter was retired did you agree with his father's stoppage did you feel like it was a bit early and do you think he would have retired without that stoppage I think one thing I think about the father I think the father the show is around the father. The show is not around the fight. Um, I think that he embarrassed his son on national television. Um, you can't take that back any way, shape, or form. I think that his son knew that at the end of the day, he can't fight without his dad. So the best thing to do is retire. That's how I felt. I felt like... Uh Whatever hope Sean may have still had yeah. for his own career, his dad just yeah, his his dad just threw it in the trash can. Yeah. What do you think of what do you think of father trainers anyway? Because Teofimo's dad is his trainer. We have obviously Sean Porter, and that's that's a thief, right? Like there's a lot of guys who are trained by their their dads. I think I think in today's day and age, it's okay. I mean, but once they get to a place where they win world titles, I think the fathers and whatever start to really feel themselves. Uh, it's, it's, it's always going to be hard to, to, to train your son because there's your son you love, there's your son you love, and then there's the athlete. So it's hard to separate the athlete from the son sometimes, the father. I was watching that and I said to myself, as a father, I would have stopped him. Yeah. As a coach, I don't stop him. As a, as a coach, I let him go out on the shield. As a father, I'm, my son's getting his head beaten. Like, I'm, I'm stopping him. I thought, I, I thought that stoppage was more on ego than anything. That's how I felt. The stoppage was more on ego. Even what he said afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah kind 